Well, yes, I had to get back to my roots, so to speak, in order to in order to play Ben Franklin as a character. He's an interesting man, not only a founding father, an important an important part of the revolutionary period of America. I had to really tap into my own roots here in the United States, and uh, well, I've been doing a lot of ayahuasca ceremonies with a very respected. Mexican shaman by the name of Carlos, Carlos Sheen. And uh, during these sessions, I've been seeing snakes and lizards and alien beings, Aztec warriors, it scared the shit out of me, okay? But I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot from the ayahuasca. And also, i also been getting back into whoring. Ben Franklin was big into it, and I've had to go more of a legal route, legal brothels bunny ranches and things of that nature. I used to be a big massage parlor guy, but I've been banned from every one of those from here to Mumbai. And going to the Orient is a, at my age, it's too stressful. I don't, I don't like it. If you've seen my giant oyster video I posted on Instagram, have you seen that one? Well, I, I eat a giant oyster and it's really symbolic of what got me kicked out of all these massage parlors. It's, uh, Well, it's a delicacy. Like every delicacy, when you're not familiar with it, it seems taboo. But the giant oyster, the eating of the giant oyster, is actually a variant of the ancient African tradition of the booyah. Now what I do, I go into a massage parlor. I lie on my back with my feet in there, like a little baby, getting his diaper changed. Except I pull my ball skin into my own ass. And when the masseuse walks in, I ask them to eat the oyster. Now, because I like to inspire from my own life, when we create Michael Douglas's Rush Hour 2, we're going to import the massage parlor scene, the whorehouse scene from Rush Hour 2 with Jackie Chan and... Who, the, who was the black fella? Yes, yes, yes. Chris Tucker. Him. I'm playing the Chris Tucker role, of course. And when I do the giant oyster, Ricky Tan and... The Chinamen, they're all disgusted and horrified at my perversion. And this all kicks off a giant kung fu fight with me and Masamoto from the the original Black Rain, the original Rush Hour, Michael Douglas style. And you know, I think we'll explore in the second film how I take my yearly pilgrimage to Andalusia in time for the harvesting of the cystus crop. It's a flowering plant that they use the resin for a lot of perfumery but the resin i use it for soaking my ball in order to season the giant oyster it's a perilous journey really Uh, i have a donkey to ride for the last 10 kilometers because there's no real access and when i come into the valley the harvest workers they see me they all know me of course and shout hola don miguel that's what they call me don miguel and the owner of the operation is don pablo and he comes up to me and says, every year, the same joke. He said, we have a good laugh about it. He says, Don, Don Miguel, I gave you enough. I gave you enough of the cystus resin in order to make 10,000 bottles of perfume. And I laugh and I say, Don Miguel, you know, I really like to season my oyster with it. That's what you can expect in Rush Hour 2. And be on the lookout for me and Ridley Scott's next film, our next production together, Napoleon II Ben Franklin. It's the story of Napoleon and Ben Franklin teaming up to fight, uh, well, the Japanese. <laughs> We're going to team up and fight the Japanese once for all. We're going to, it's, it's, it's a sequel based on Napoleon, Ben Franklin, and Black Rain, and Michael Douglas's Rush Hour. We're going to combine it all into one super film, because that's what you got to do nowadays, pal. You, you can't just make a regular movie and expect audiences to take to it, you know? All right. <laughs>